soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940-41. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. Wow. Would you look at those guys? Now those guys are true heroes. I mean, just look at them. Look how tough and manly they are. The Germans don't stand a chance against these boys. I wish I could say those guys are us. Delta Company, move out! But they're not us. That's me over there. No, not that guy. Yeah, that guy. You see, I thought I was signing up for the Boy Scouts, but I think I may have uh, gotten a little mixed up. Uh, so, well, here I am. That's my friend over there, Ben. And I'm John. And, uh, I guess we're in the war now. All of our old squadron got injured, so it's just me and him now. Well, until we get assigned a new squadron. Private, who are you talking to? Uh, no one, sir. <laughs> now you men are being assigned to a new squadron, led by me. And you'll just call me Sarge, is that understood? Uh, yes sir. Of course, sir. Alright. Very- Wait a second. You men are disgraces. Where's your helmets? Uh, I lost mine, sir. Uh, I kind of used mine as an ice cream bowl, sir. Ah, ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Well, until you can find new helmets, you'll be stuck wearing no helmets at all, so you better not get hit in the head, or you'll be dead, uh, is that understood? Uh, yes, sir. And you, Private? Utterly ridiculous. Where did your sleeves go? Oh, well, uh, sleeves are so old-fashioned, they're so 1930s, man, so I figured I may as well just go without sleeves now. Uh, you idiots. And no sunglasses in the army. I'm sorry, sir, this is literally printed to my head. God dang it. All right. It, uh, what, what is this? Your pants are a different color than your shirt, Private. What is your problem? Uh, I just came this way, sir. Well, uncome that way, soldier. Uh, sure, I guess. All right. At least you have a backpack. That's pretty cool. I have a better backpack, though. Look at that. Pretty awesome. Very period appropriate. Yours looks like a Boy Scout backpack. Oh, because it is, sir. Uh, whatever, at least you have one. Anyways, come with me. You'll meet the rest of the squadron. Utterly ridiculous. You know, soldiers, I didn't see you during the invasion. Where were you? Well, sir, I, uh, I, I fell asleep on the boat. You fell asleep on the boat? You're a disgrace to your country, sir. Oh, well, what can I say, sir? I was tired. Uh, what about you? Well, sir, I was quitting the ice cream out of my helmet. Uh, you guys are complete morons. I'll straighten you out, though. I'll make you guys soldiers. Now, come on. Let's go ahead and meet the rest of the people. We've wasted too much time talking to you nonsense people. All right, here's the rest of the men. What in tarnation is this? Soldier, what is that uniform you're wearing? Oh, I thought it was formal night, sir. No, it's not formal night, you idiot. It's never formal night in the army. <sighs> oh, at least it's green. I'll give you that much. Oh, thank you, sir. And you have your helmet, too. That's that's not too bad, but... You're uh, ridiculous. Oh, uh, uh, whatever, all right. Uh, not bad, not bad. Soldier, what's wrong with your eye? Well, sir, I do this because I'm a sniper and I can, uh, I can see very well out of this eye, so I only use this eye to snipe. How are you supposed to see and walk properly if you only have one eye open? Well, I don't know, sir. I was printed like this, man. I can't do anything about it. Ah, completely ridiculous. And you, what do you think this is, a bodybuilding class? Well, sir, I just like showing off my rock hard abs. Ah. All right, I do admit they're pretty nice, but put on a shirt, you idiots. I would, sir, but I... But no shirt can contain my rock hard abs. We better find one, soldiers. That understood? I guess so, sir. All right, good. Uh, why do I have to be stuck with you idiots? I mean, look how cool I am. Look at this backpack that I have. Pretty realistic. And look at those arms, man. Those arms are hard to find. All right? Uh, I have to be stuck with you lazy dummies. You're all disgraces to this man's army. But we'll work on that later. For now, we have to get our mission from our commanding officer. 
Major Mikey All-Star. Ten, huh? Hey, do you have any idea what that means? I think it means we're supposed to give the commanding officer ten dollars. I don't have ten dollars, man. What do I do? Uh, just give him all the money you have. Uh, okay. At ease, man. Oh, here, sir. I've got a, uh, I've got ten cents. Does that count? I mean, it is a ten still, but it's not like a ten dollar, but, um... Uh, here, did you want it, sir? Oh, no thanks. You know how much I make off these movies anyways? Well, anyways, alright, so... You guys, Clever Squadron, that's a pretty cool name. And it's kind of ironic, too, since all of you seem to be, like, completely, like, really dumb, but, you know, that's fine. So your mission, if you choose to accept it... Wait, this is an optional mission, sir? Oh, no, I just want to say it like that, because it sounds really cool. Alright, so... Uh, we were going to have this elite squadron of, like, super awesome guys. Like, uh, airborne guys or whatever, you know? Uh, from like this, this squadron and stuff, you know, this company and stuff, but uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, they're kind of busy like doing like a mini series or something So uh, what we're gonna have to do is get you guys to this mission. All right uh, I think it's probably not gonna go too well, but you know if it doesn't go well then at least uh, Well, uh, at least we don't have to waste those guys. So uh, yeah, anyways, okay, so Since we're working on conquering France again your mission will be to go into Germany and kill Adolf Hitler. Wow, Adolf Hitler? Whoa. Wait, what does that guy look like? Hey, you know Charlie Chaplin? Yeah, of course. He looks exactly like that, pretty much. Oh, so we're gonna kill Charlie Chaplin? No, not Charlie Chaplin. We're gonna kill Adolf Hitler. It's a big difference. Alright, soldiers, if there are no more questions, gear up and move out. You got it, sir. Ah, old reliable. Never let me down. Oh yeah, extra ammo for an extra macho man, an extra extra large gun for an extra extra macho man, oh yeah. Alright, everyone got their weapons? Copy that, sir. You better believe it, sir. Yep, I sure do. You're darn tootin' I do, sir. Yep, that's right. Private, what in the heap and heck is that? Well, sir, it's a plunger. Private, we need weapons, not plumbing supplies. Well, sir, I figured this would be handy. You never know when you need a plumbing emergency fix. So, you know, a plunger is pretty good. Plus, you can hit people with this and stuff. And anyway, sir, I don't believe in violence. Don't believe in violence? What What do you mean? That's like not believing in Santa Claus. Of course they're both real, you idiot. Do you think just because you don't believe in violence, you won't get hurt? Well, yeah, that sounds about right, sir. All right, then. Play your games, Private. We'll see how long you last in this man's company. I bet your stupid plunger won't even last a minute. Well, sir, agree to disagree. All right, man, private, point that somewhere else. Don't point it at my face. Oh, sorry, sir. All right, as I was saying, what, private, what are you doing? I'm uh, pointing at your wig, sir. You said point it somewhere else. All right, good point. I guess I can't fault you there. I did say point it somewhere else, and I didn't really specify where to point it. Anyways, so, man, we are marching into Germany. That's right, Germany. So, most of you will probably die because I don't know if you signed the contract or not. I did. I signed on for five more movies. All right. Uh, okay, so, uh, uh, yes, uh, I, and I also, my helmet is uh, a different shade of green than my my suits, my, my uniform, so that means that I will be surviving, because that is obviously a sheer sign that I am a genius, that I am the coolest character out of all of these guys, and they wouldn't kill off the coolest character, so, and of course I'm the sergeant, no one dies in a sergeant, sergeants don't die in war movies, so anyways, so alright, so men, we are going to be marching into Germany. And let's go ahead and get started. We're going to find Adolf Hitler, and we're going to shoot him. And it's going to hurt, because bullets hurt, all right? Even plastic ones probably still hurt, I'd imagine. I've never gotten shot by a plastic bullet before, but I'm sure it would hurt. So anyways, let's, let's move out. Wow, that was a pretty good speech. Yeah, he's trying to get an Oscar next year. <laughs> Don't you be weary. Don't you be dreary. Cause that trumpet's going to sound Just keep your eyes peeled And keep your lips sealed Cause when that good news Gets around bo do 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 bo do There'll be a jubilee There'll be a jubilee a jubilee upon that happy day. Sister, 
That was some very realistic Lego. Yeah, I agree. Hey, still you're talking. We're eating near a German town. We better be careful. Hmm. Ich will popcorn machen. Hans, möchten Sie popcorn? Ah, jawohl. <laughs> Wait, sir. Do you hear that? What is that? Gunfire! Take cover! Oh, sir, that was a good thing that this cover just randomly showed up. Yeah, I agree. We've been in trouble for that one didn't show up. Quiet! Alright. On my mark. Ready to shoot everything you've got, men. This could be our last stand. I wish I could say it's been an honor serving with you guys, but honestly, it's been like my worst nightmare ever. So, alright, men. And go! They're gonna start around and show them how. Take the time back and poke more. They're gonna take a hike through Hitler's track and change that high. But you know, Joe, there'll be a hot time. Eat this, you feet. When the Yanks go marching in, uh. you could never keep them happy down the farm after the Tick Burning. Oh, sure, hit. Oh, no. Medic! Medic! Roberts, hang in there. Don't worry, we'll get you out of here. Sorry, sir. I hate you. Sorry. Tell my wife. Over. Wait, I don't actually have a wife. Wait, actually, I think I'm fine. Oh, it was just a mosquito bite, sir. Oh. <laughs> oh, you guys are so stupid. Wait, sir. I think it stopped. Huh. I guess we got him. Well, uh, good job, man, I guess. Huh. Wow. Not too bad, actually. I'm impressed. All right, well, let's push forward, men. But be careful, there could still be more soldiers out there. Ah, es schmeckt sehr gut. All right, men, we're finally in civilization. That's good. We should ask one of the locals to see where Adolf is. Do you think they'll know, sir? Well, I mean, there's bound to be, like, a German White House or something, like a Nazi White House or something, you know, like a, a Red House or something. I don't know. Anyways, uh, any of you guys speak German? Oh, I do a little bit, sir. All right, why don't you ask that guy over there? Oh, yeah, sure, no problem, no problem. Uh, danke, shine, uh, guten tomaten, uh, gem apple, uh, 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 donde esta, uh, je suis, uh, Adolf Hitler. Uh, yeah, sir, I don't think this guy is gonna give us the answer. Ah, uh, great. Let's find another guy then. This guy's useless. Ah, hello. Uh, you are Americans, right? Yep, that's right. Hey, ha, huh. finally someone that speaks English. All right. Uh, hey, sir, do you know where Adolf Hitler is currently? Ah, uh, yes, Adolf Hitler. There's one in the, um, uh, the square. Yeah, go, uh, yeah, it goes there. Yeah. Just a rock, man. He's in town visiting, apparently. Perfect timing, perfect timing. All right, well, man, let's go show him who's boss. Let's take down old Adolf. Ha! There he is! Look at him, he's scared white. I didn't know he was that pale, sir. Must be all that time spent inside, cowering from us Americans. Sir, I'm pretty sure that's a statue nonsense. That guy said that this is Adolf Hitler, so this is Adolf Hitler. Men, give it all you got. Show no mercy. He's invincible. We need something a little stronger than that. Here, sir, I've got it. Heh, <laughs> what can you do, private, you useless piece of trash? Oh, I can show you what I can do, sir. Is that it? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, well, that sure showed him. Ah, sorry I doubted you, private. Good job. Good job, indeed. Well, Clover Squadron, I'd say today was surprisingly a success. I can't believe I'm saying this, but good job, man. Let's go home. About whether Hitler died in old Berlin Here's one thing I'm telling you You can bet your life it's true If we forget our boys Then Hitler lives again Hitler lives If we hurt our fellow men Hitler lives If we forget Those who fought were heroes 
Well, sir, we're back. Wait, why are you guys back so soon? Because, sir, we've succeeded in our mission. Oh, yeah. What? What do you mean you succeeded? Your mission was to kill Adolf Hitler. That's right, that's what we did, sir. What? He just made his speech an hour ago. Wait, what? Yeah, we did get reports of, like, a statue of him being blown up, but that was about it. God dang it. Bye. <laughs>